Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my recap for Operation Dread Factor. This season is looking to be a great one so far by the looks of it. We can try it on the test server starting tomorrow, May 15th. And we can expect Operation Dread Factor on the main build of Siege on May 30th, which I noticed is earlier than last year where it was like early June or so, so this will be very good. So now that we have the release dates out of the way, thankfully, let's talk about the new Swedish operator, Fenrir. I hope I pronounced that right. Of course, he is from Sweden, and he is a part of the Red Hammer squad. He is a 2-speed 2-armor operator, and with that, his loadout consists of the SAS G12 shotgun and the MP7. Along with that, he gets the Bailiff as a sidearm, and only that, with a barbed wire and bulletproof camera to play with. Now we move on to his gadget, the FNAT Dreadmine. So what his gadget does, it basically creates a fear effect gas that will temporarily limit the field of view of the person that walks into it. And pretty much that person that is in that surrounded area is only affected by that gas and can only see what happens inside but obviously can't look outside of it unless you basically walk out of that surrounded area. Now Fenrir has six of these and he can deploy all of them but he will only be able to activate three of them but you can deactivate them as well whenever you can, so there's a bonus. Now obviously once this attacker gets close to the mine, it will open and the, its effect will be triggered and alerting Fenrir and thus making it into a haunted room for those attackers. Now there are certain operators that you can combine his gadget with mentioned in the reveal, such as Melusi, Valkyrie, Thorn, Pulse, Solace, and Kavera as well. <laughs> now also for the record, you cannot destroy Fenrir's gadget with bullets or melee them, you can only destroy it with explosives, so have that in mind as well. Now speaking of gadgets, we have a new one coming in this season for the defenders. This is the observation blocker. And to basically sum it up in my words, it's basically a sense wall in a small gadget. <laughs> and it's only visible through a camera, so for say, obviously your drone, Zero's gadget, Ayana's hologram, or even default cams that were hacked by Dokubi, so be note of that as well. Now on to the next main subject of this operation, the Consulate Rework. One of the most hated maps in this game is finally being reworked, and for the most part it looks pretty nice, to be completely honest. Uh, I can tell the main idea of this rework is basically that the spawn peaks that people would usually do on the current Consulate, they are gone. They are basically blocked off or just simply not there anymore, they don't exist. Now this is very good for attackers now because you can actually get inside of the building without having your brain being taken off in the first 5 seconds of the round, but at the same time there are some small rooms I can tell from this footage so you might want to be careful when entering too, or you'll probably be jump scared by Fenrir or at best Kavera. And just with like Solar Raid, uh, the Consulate rework won't be able to be banned just like Nighthaven Labs when that map was first released. So you will actually have to learn with this rework and actually get good with it. <laughs> Moving on to my favorite part of this season, the permanent arcade mode. Now five modes will be released in this playlist, consisting of Deathmatch, Golden Gun, Snipers Only, Headshot Only, and the new one, Free For All. Now for free for all, it's basically easy to sum it up, it's basically Call of Duty rules, uh, first to 30 kills wins the game. Now in my opinion, I am so glad they finally added this, because certain modes like Golden Gun and Snipers Only were so fun, and to have the ability to play them whenever now is fantastic, so thank you Ubisoft. So moving on even more throughout this operation, uh, the shooting range is getting an update in which there will be more lanes that will include operator holograms that can be customized to train your aim on like different speed and movement styles as you're seeing in this footage. So basically think of it as aim labs in Siege, you know, it'll be very helpful in training your aim more and more within the game. Now for the console population, uh, there will be some new controller layouts available in the accessibility tab. And I think many people will be familiar with this. One of these options, uh, if you're familiar with Call of Duty for instance, how you can crouch with your sticks, that will be an option too. And along with that, there may be a chance that we will see hip leaning with uh, on console, uh, with the bumper leaner setting as shown right now. So this will be very very interesting. Along with this, Grim is getting part 1 of his buff as I like to call it, where he'll be able to equip and fire his bees quickly now, and also will deploy faster and cover a larger area of where he's firing as well. And also, as if the Bailiff on Fenrir isn't enough, Grim is also getting that too, along with a hard breach charge. 
Other little quality of life updates include a ready up feature for when you and your squad are ready to queue up for another match. And also the diffuser pickup will actually have an option to pick it up automatically, manually, or even both. Whew, so there you have it. <laughs> the recap for Operation Dread Factor. Uh, I personally think this will be a solid season and of course a fun one. Uh, I can see a lot of jump scares happening though with Fenrir's gadget and uh, I will be here no matter what for that. But if you all found this helpful and you enjoyed it, a subscribe and a like would be appreciated dearly. And anyways, I hope you all take care and I will see you all in the next Siege video. Bye.